getting closer to winter, but we still have some amazing driving weather left before that salt hits the ground. But I'm still in my garage today, uh, making a few uh, modifications, you could say, to my car. Number one, I'm gonna show you in a second, is a windscreen that um, I created to go on the roll bar, if you've been following my blog. And also, I think I've created a solution, um, time will tell, for the seatbelt issues that many people have. I know that uh, in my case, you know, the seatbelt always disappears behind the seat. It's always hard to get. Um, a lot of times it twists around. Uh, and then uh, it, because it's coming from behind and in the back, it comes over your shoulder and puts weight as, you, as it tightens. So I'm gonna show you what I've done, how I did it, and uh, I'll let you know in a month or so about the seatbelt solution. I can tell you that the windscreen solution is awesome and a lot less expensive than buying one, if you have a roll bar, that is, um, of buying one from a company such as Moss or wherever else you can buy them. So let me show you the end result and then I'll tell you how I made it, okay? So this is the windshield uh, solution. You can see here, it's made out of uh, Lexon. Some of the things to notice is how it's mounted with these Velcros. And I still have my safety uh, pad here, okay? And I've got black washers to um, just take away from uh, what could be godly big silver things. And it's a clean look and it's very effective. You can see it from both sides. What's nice about this, it's easily removed with Velcro. You can put it in your trunk if you like, or leave it at home. But I can't imagine why I'd want to because it totally cuts down the uh, wind in the cockpit. In fact, my stereo um, on the highway was at a volume 27, and with this wind blocker is now at a volume of 18. So now with the seat belt solution, what I've done here, I don't know if you can see, um, I've created this little piece out of metal. And that's really interesting because if I pull the seat back here, it's coming from, and it's right next to the, um, right on this side of the roll bar, and it comes straight up can see it comes straight up and then sits there so I never lose it and it's always there so this I think and it, as you see it's gonna be kind of above my shoulder and I can raise it by raising this up more so for the windscreen the first thing was to make a template and my mistake was I wanted to make it out of wood, so it was perfect. But um, that piece of wood, after a week and a half of modifications and you know, cutting and sanding and cutting and sanding is outside in the garbage. And I ended up making it out of cardboard. Um, the reason is, is that I could work the cardboard a lot easier. And the thing about my roll bar is I have that padding on it on the inside so because of that it didn't bend you know each time I bent one side and the other side it's slightly different so it's not like you could do one side and then fold it and do the other side exactly so I had to have it so it kind of fits only one way on mine so what I did is I I worked this out and this is my template and then I decided where I wanted the holes and I marked it on the template. And I brought this to a glass maker in town and he cut a piece of Lexa for me. So that's it. Then um, I had an issue I, how, to, how to put them on. So I found these on Amazon and I'll put the links in, in below. But these are really industrial strength holders but you'll notice that they have a big 
uh, hole, you know, a big hole. So what do you do? You know, if you want I didn't want to put this huge massive bolt that's only this big to hold the Lexum on. So I came up with some washers, right? So I had these big washers. So you can see that. But then you still see this big silver thing. If you remember from the other video, it's nice and black. So what I did was I painted, and you can see in the background, I painted them and then I baked them at uh, 200 degrees in my little toaster oven that I have just for baking painted parts. But then the problem was is that if you <clears throat> have a bolt through here, right, and put it and you pull it tight, it's going to be off center and could show the edges of this, of this uh, silver part here. You can see the edge here. So what I ended up doing was finding the right size tiny washers and I was able to put them through. So these tiny washers sit in the middle like that. Okay? And they kept it, keep it centered so when I put the big one on, it stays centered. Okay? Like that. And that's basically how I mounted the windscreen on. So I used uh, uh, five of them, two on the bottom, as you can see in the video, two on the angles and one on top. And that's the windscreen. So that was um, fairly simple as long as the template is easily made. So if you have a, a more simple roll bar, Mine had this angle going up. I've never seen one like that. Normally they're straight and they just have one corner and go down. So that should be fairly straightforward if that's the case. The next thing I did was, again, I've learned to work with cardboard for the template. So I made a template and this is a prototype. And it, as you can see, it's not exactly perfect, okay? Um, it's not straight here um, as much as I'd like it to be because it's a prototype and uh, basically I made it out of cardboard and I brought it to a local machine shop and for $40 I got two of these out of I think 3 8 inch steel. At that point I, as you can see in the background, I painted it and I also baked these in the oven just so that they look nice for now. And if they work out, I may go back this winter and make this perfectly straight and then maybe even have them chrome plated. So then I did a counter sink so that the screws go in nicely, okay? And then basically I drilled two holes on there, one and two. And this fits in. So this one here, So it fits in like that, okay? So it'll sit on the side and block it. So this is the passenger side, so it's gonna go the other way. And that's that. So basically that's how I did it. Um, and then basically I used locking nuts on the, on the opposite side and they fit underneath. So once they're on there, um, like this, you can move them up or down, up or down. And, you know, the higher they up, um, the more they'll be above your shoulder. So I'll report back on that, making sure that it actually works. And like I said, if it does, then this prototype will get modified into something that looks really nice and professional. So that's what I did today in my garage. What did you do? Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.